everybody, Butch Zemar here. It's been a while since I've done a video. I uh, want to start a series about um, strategies uh, when it comes around to employee benefit programs and uh, health insurance. Uh, whether uh, you're a solopreneur or you uh, have a company with employees uh, and controlling the cost, that's the biggest issue. So, um, and in today's video, I want to talk about um, that deductibles are uh, can be misleading in a lot of ways. Some people look for higher deductibles to get those premiums down, but then they have higher out of pocket throughout the rest of the year. And so, uh, but sometimes you have to do the hard math and add up the premiums uh, and the out of pocket expenses that's potential or already known uh, to get a given cost over a 12 month period. And uh, every plan is going to be a little different. The profiles can be different. The ages of the uh, family, the dynamics uh, could throw things off. So you have to do the math in order to determine. It's not a benefit issue in most cases. It's more or less a math issue. And so you add up all the premiums. You add up the out-of-pocket expenses that uh, either given or projected and uh, see what that number comes down to and it might amaze you because there are situations where the high deductible does make more sense the premium savings are there in other cases you will find out that increasing your premiums per month may actually be a better strategy at the end of the year versus the other way around so hopefully you could take um, that tip and um, and and have have it work in your favor especially if there's medical expenses that are at play